Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, here with another My Career in Big 2K gameplay. Today, we're starting a new chapter in the My Career series. It's with a character it, it, who does relate to me. He looks a little different. But he's the same person. Probably won't have the same first name, but we'll have the same last name. Um, we, I, I like to call him what I would have been if it wasn't for my grandma. And this person's name is called, he's called Money Lamonte Grant. Now, let me give you a little backstory to Money Lamonte Grant. Now, uh, my mom always tells me the story, but before I was about to be born, uh, my mom was going to name me Money Lamonte Grant. But luckily, at the last second, she told my grandmother, my grandmother, uh, almost slapped her and said, uh, you better pick a better name than that because you gotta think about my future and she changed it to the name you see I don't have to say my name you already know my name by now you should so that's that's the backstory of money of Monte Grant so yeah uh, I dig. I'm going in a new route with him. Uh, I'm going a six foot seven shooting guard, all around. His play, his skill says all around. So he's going to be able to do it all. You know, LeBron. We're going LeBron. We're going LeBron James, Kevin Durant mode on this one. So here goes the rookie showcase. It looks a little different. We got like draft combine jerseys. And you still got the rookies and the sophomores still merged together. I have no problem with that. I actually like that a little better. One, because... I like that a little better because... You get to play with... It, it gives you more of a challenge. It well, it gives me more of a challenge. I don't know if this is for you guys. I don't know if this happens for you guys when you restart your My Career Series. But for me, it's more of a challenge for me. I actually like that. I like the challenge. So, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's still in that same roster format, too, like it was from the All-Star. Like I said, from the first time we did it with my character, uh, it does start off with a... Uh, it does start off with a... Uh, the, uh, the the roster for the for the rising stars uh, challenge. I mean, not is it the rising stars? The rising stars challenge. Yeah, the rising stars challenge. Uh, you know, Team Grant Hill versus Team Chris Weber. So obviously, I would with Damian Lillard on my squad. I think I'm Team Grant Hill or Team Weber. I don't I don't remember the roster that well. So, but I think no, because Tim Hardaway, is, Tim Hardaway and uh, Anthony Davis were on. I remember Chris Webber getting Tim Hardaway and uh, Anthony Davis. So I think I'm on Team Grant Hill. So yeah. I don't really remember that well. So this is us versus them. And I can see right now I have 11 points. I'm doing pretty good. I need to get some assists because I'm trying to show that I'm an all around talent and not just, you know, a score. Athletic was okay, but I feel like with the shooting guard, I feel like the shooting guard is the most like, uh, damn. I feel like shooting guard is like the most. OP position in the game for my career. Why do I say that? Look at the stats. Like, look at the stats for athletic point guard versus an athletic shooting guard. The dunks are higher. 
The dunks are higher, the blocks are higher, the defense is higher. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like shooting guard is probably like the best position to choose in this game. Like, point guard would be the best position to choose because the ball is always in your hands. But you got to remember, this is a point guard heavy lead. So, being a point guard really isn't all that great because you could turn to a shooting guard. Just, just look at my career. Just, well, look at my my career, I should say. You know, so I decided to be a shooting guard. I, I was going to go with the small forward since I technically, since when you think about it, I kind of did play a shooting guard role. But, I mean, small forward, I mean, shooting guards become small forwards too. I am six foot seven, so... 230 pounds. Try to bulk him up a little bit. Because the last one I did, he was just 200 pounds soaking wet. That was that was that was that was, that was the size. He was 200 pounds, but yet could drive to the basket and get fouls and dunk on people. I didn't try to like make him so big. I to get block by Anthony Davis. And, a lot of blocking shots is man. instincts, and you either have them or you don't. It seems to me that Drummond has them, and you see the way he times so, that yeah. block perfectly. Uh, really Hopefully, I don't get drafted by the same team. That's the basketball. one thing I don't well, want. Is getting defense. drafted by the same team. I want to get. I want to actually get drafted higher. Jaw drop. Which I highly doubt will happen, because I don't think you can be a first-round pick. I really don't think you could be a first-round pick anymore. I think they only did it for 2K13, because I did it like four times in 2K13. I had like a couple of different characters I made on different uh, on different uh, profiles on my uh, PlayStation, and. I, I took, and all, all four of them actually were first round draft picks, it really wasn't that hard to be a first round draft pick. You just you just had to get an A plus and didn't have any turnovers. And you had to have about like 30 points. You had to have about like 30 points and everything else had to be, you had to be at least, you had to at least, your stats had to be like, you had to at least have like two steals, one block, uh, five rebounds and five assists and like 30 points or more just to be a first round draft pick. You could not have any turnovers. If you had one turnover, it was sad business. You were either gonna be, you either gonna be a good selection for a number two. Oh, yeah, give me that. Oh yeah, Damian Lillard, got it. There we go. What can you say? I mean, he's good, and he's making sure everybody here knows it. Well, it's been his lifelong dream to play in the NBA, and he's showing he's ready for the challenge. Hey, what's up? What's Victor Oladipo going to do? Nothing. With the ball. Nothing. Jones I'll try to strip him. Ah. I've been stripping dudes. I've been stripping these dudes left and right. Like, I couldn't get the steal right there. Because they're, they're dribbling. They're dribbling all sloppy trying to do this and that. And I'm just stripping them. Taking it down the court to the basket. That's it all. Set a pick for Harrison Barnes. Man. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah, boy, I got the rebound. Get off me. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle, man. I'm trying to be a star in this league. I need more re I need more assists and rebounds. I'm an all-around player. I'm supposed to be, like, one of those great players in, in this draft. Like, I'm supposed to be a top-five pick. Now, they're finally starting to shoot the ball a little bit better now. You know, I thought this was the play, the kind of play they needed in first. Oh, that set the pick and they just throw it to Andre Drummond. You know, if it comes down to it, I might act if with the GM asks me, hey, who you think we should trade for in the middle of the season, I'm, I'm going to say we get Andre Drummond. Because... I didn't finish off the first season with him, and I'm still going to continue that series with the with, with my uh, first guy, because I'm doing this on two different profiles on my on my laptop. I got I just made another profile on my laptop, 
so that way uh, I can uh, can, I can still so that, so that way we can uh, uh, make a uh, well let me, let me put it like this I'm, I'm I, I, I made another profile on my uh, account so that way I can do a separate my player so that way I don't have to make two saves make two save files and then keep putting one in when I want to play with another guy and then put the other one in when I want to play with the other guy no it's not going to work like that it's going to work like this I, I, I didn't want to go through all that every time I wanted to play 2K. I didn't want to do that, so I made it my goal to make sure that uh, I. Uh, that, that that they were both separate, and yeah, that they were both separate. That's basically all I wanted them to be with each other. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And they're getting out in transition too, finding some easy points on the fast Like how they got me playing uh, 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 Michael Carter Williams because he's six foot six. So I guess they have me playing the point guard position. Until he subs out, then I'll probably get back into the. Field the pass to Valanciunas, six to shoot. Oh, almost got that in one. Good strength there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be like this until right starting to this. Uh, to the, uh, to the uh, today's sub uh, came out and I'll probably put him back at shooting guard. That's what I was trying to say. I lost track of focus. There goes my halftime stats right now. Doing pretty good. Let me see if I can cross him. A little over two and a half minutes off the dribbling skills are weak. The feed the Barnes. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Grant. There's the pick. Oh yeah. Cash. I wonder what my shot off dribble is. I wonder what that is. My shot off dribble. Because I'm not a slasher. I was going to pick slasher, but that would have been the same as uh, getting uh, uh, athletic. I want to be, I want this guy to be different. Oh! Victor Oladipo. Alright. I got you, Lillard. Go. Come on, Lillard. You gotta go. Right here. Wait for Harrison Barnes. Yeah, I'll just pass it to Oh, back door cut. Ah! Shoots! It's like they got eyes in the back of their heads. It's like they just know you where you're going. Like, if I'm going to backdoor cut, he shouldn't follow me. Oh, I thought that was a foul. I get sub right back in. I, I thought that was going to be a foul. But it turned out it was a kickball violation. Oh. Ah. Well, guys, this draft is considered a weak one for power forwards, but I think we have a handful of seven-footers who may be yeah. best. I, I did update the roster. Zeller, Kelly Olenek, uh, I did, yeah, I did update the roster, so it's more, it, it's the, it's the, it's the last, it's the last game of this. It was like the last update before the playoffs. So the roster before the playoffs is the roster we got. So, yeah. No keep possession. So for the stars, Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Olenek. Hardaway is subbed in for Carter Williams. So hopefully this is up to date. So so this is up to date. One thirty two left in the third. Like it's six. I only think I I only think I think I edited it was like shoot. Because usually I just edit their accessories. 
I, I, yeah, I just usually edit the accessories, but uh, I didn't really edit any of these guys' accessories, I, except the shoes, like all the shoes are uh, are Nike Hybrid Dunks, whoever's with Adidas, they got the, the first shoe that's, that's on the Adidas list, because it's like team colors, I wanted everybody's shoe to match the team colors, I, I hate the, the, I hate the white, with with like a little bit of the team color shoes. I like, I want these guys to have the team color shoes. Nice spin by Bradley Beal. There you go, drum and take that. Ah. He hesitated on that pump fake. He shouldn't have hesitated. Once you hit that pump fake, just go right up with it. He hesitated. If you want to be seen by an NBA front office, this is the place to be. It's just one game. You've got their full attention. Nope. Hardaway dishes to Burke. Get that out of here. They're good in the ah. goes to Hardaway. And it's now 23 points for Trey Burke. You gotta love the way he's competing out There's there. Something's wrong with the scoreboard too. I don't know what's wrong with the scoreboard, but this scoreboard like sucks. It's like the old scoreboard merged with this one, even though I did put the logo files for this CBS scoreboard in. That's weird. I did put the logos in here, so it should have worked. I don't know why it didn't work. But I put the logos in here and everything for the scoreboard. But, oh well, I'm only using it just for this game. Because technically, when you think about it, we're still college kids, so why not put this on CBS? Oladipo's got nine points here in the second half. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Elite sleep. He's gonna pass. I hope he ain't gonna pass all the way over here. He is. And how did I not get that steal? I knew it was coming, but yeah, I don't get the steal. Oh, get that, get it, get it. Yes, go, 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 go. Right here. Right here. Oh my God. These guys don't Just like passing the ball. I understand. The final we're not all. We don't know each other. We're not all not on the same page. But so he gets the whistle, Jack come on. Up and two shots up. Like, yeah, he got whacked. Be I know we're not all on the same page, yeah, but still, though, my God. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the elite. I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to get myself going too in this like league. Y'all can't just good. keep. How many points I got? I got 26 points, four assists, three rebounds. I need, I need at least five. I need at least both those two to catch up to five, and then I'll probably get 30. But yeah, Damian Lillard gonna give me that fifth assist. Yeah. You know, size wise, there you this go. is not a great one on one matchup for him, but he got that shot to go. But you wouldn't know it by how he finished. That's a nice hoop there. Get down to Ah. Come on, man. Call that flopping. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Oladipo. The elites leading by 19 points. Is a pick? Nope. Lillard outside. Right here. He kicks to Barnes. Right here, man. He dishes it oh, now you passed it. Leads him in there, there you go. There you go. Give me that six. He's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play. I want that assist. I ain't got no turnover. Yet. I know one's going to come. But hopefully not right now. Get out of here. Oh my God! Come on. 19 points for Michael Carter Williams. In this game, for the players, an exciting. I got you on the pick. I got you on the pick. Go. I'll tell you what. It doesn't get. Oh yeah. Give me that. Outside this gym, but for these young men, the importance of these games absolutely enormous. That was a. That was a nice executed screen. Over the top. Oh, he 
Bianco misses. The elites leading by 22. Here's Grant. Oh, yeah. And the official going. Tending, so they'll award the basket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. But it wasn't a foul. Andre Drummond's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Carter Williams kicks to Hardaway. Here's the three. And once again, off the mark by the Stars. Here's the elites with the ball. All right, right here. Lillard gets the screen. The wide open. That 65 three pointer. Beautiful passes he's making. I think, I think it's 65. I don't know. Something he'll definitely bring to the table for but I'm making threes. I made two so far. Make plays for other Here's Get out of here. No good off the front iron. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Barnes passes to Grant. The pass to Barnes. Set the pick. Cause we got Anthony Davis on. Up to the ah. Oh, he made it. This has been a one-sided game. Made it. Just about every area the lead continues to grow. Absolutely, their offense. I was trying to set the pick for An on Anthony Davis, so that way he can drop to the basket. Davis dishes to Carter Williams. Okay. Outside Hardaway. To end the run. That's all. You can get that. Get me that. Like this to impress. He has now the pressure might be getting oh. to him, but everybody's in the same boat. How you here. Doing? He sucks. The Got to change now. He had stolen by Solomon. Go. Get kill. Barnes against Hardaway. Plenty of space. Oh, that pump fake ain't gonna do nothing. Oh no. Ah. And the layup is good. You know, Kevin, he never gives I up tried to stop him. I, love about him. I tried. One of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Right here, right here. Steve, he invites contact I got you. When he's attacking the rim. Throw it down another Andre Drummond. Keep he's Michael Carter Williams away. Andre Drummond. And it's Drummond missing. No but good. He's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. Carter Williams kicks the heart away. Get that one. And he uses yeah. the glass on the lane. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've right. got to at least get a finger on it. Lillard gets the Set screen the from Grant. Lillard, the basket right back. Grant. Yeah, Dishes wide open. Barnes. Wide open. Shoot it. Grant with Why are you? Come on. Barnes kicks to Bro, Grant. just shoot it. My Grant God. Grant's got 12 points What's that hard? What's that hard, Harrison Barnes? Oh, wide open. You had... You could have read a book, and they still would have never got up to you in time. Davis setting the pick for Oladipo. Davis. Come on. Passes it to Carter Ain't Williams. not gonna shoot it. I'll pass it to you. I'm trying to get these assists. Only got six. Only got three oh, rebounds too. That sucks. Outside Hardaway. He feeds it to Carter Williams. Six foot seven. I should be able to grab more rebounds this time around. I know I was getting no rebounds as a point guard. I think I was like six foot five as a point guard. Yeah, I made a six foot five point guard. Because I know I was going to go up against Michael Carter Williams, so I was like six foot four, six foot four don't don't work. This is about to be six foot five. Cat, there you go. That's what I wanted the first time. See, you would have had, I could have had eight assists right now. I don't care about these 32 the points. I already made it 30. I need to get some more assists because I've been doing good on defense and I haven't turned the ball over yet. So. Back to Hardaway. Ah. No one. Get out of here. That. Yeah, yep, that's the game. We blow out the stars. We're going to get into these highlights and these interviews and I will see you on the next bit. Well, I'll see y'all after the vid. Peace. A little bit of bragging rights here over the stars as we draft years closer. And although this isn't a league game, you can tell each player out there wanted to win. I mean, no question about it, this was a competitive affair. And there was...
game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the Kings, and I must say, I was impressed with your performance. We have the seventh pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. We realize that here in Sacramento, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization, someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Sacramento Kings, someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Kings. Are you that person? I mean, when you think about it, y'all need a shooting guard. To be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a rabid fan base out in Sacktown. I'd love to be a leader on this team for the next decade. Okay, last question. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Number one without question, but hey, I don't, it don't really matter to me. I don't care about any of that. I want to play for your team, whatever pick it is. To me, it's not about going number one or going in the lottery. I want to go to a team that is a great fit for me, and I definitely think you guys fit that bill for me. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Hello, and thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking sixth in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? I'll say it once and I'll say it again. I don't care about the money. I just want to play. To be honest, that's something I haven't given much thought. Right now, I'm completely focused on my game and getting drafted in the lottery. Hopefully top five, man. That'd be nice. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you to want to be on the Mount Rushmore of basketball? What do you think? Hmm, well, at some point in my career, I'd really like to play close to home. Playing in front of my friends and family at the highest level has been a lifelong dream. That's a good thing for you guys because I'm loyal to a fault. Fiercely loyal, even. I like to settle in a place, get comfortable, and place my focus on my current task. If I can be remembered as a great basketball player and a great man, then I'll be able to look back on my career and be proud. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm the GM of the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you and want to ask you some questions to see how well you'd fit in with us. Question number one. Minneapolis is truly a beautiful city, but are you aware of just how brutally cold the winters are? We have freezing cold, we have snow, we have it all. I've seen players walk in telling me that nothing can stop them, only to be defeated by the weather. The gosh darn weather. Can you deal with these types of adverse conditions? Cuh. I'm from Wisconsin. Are you... Are you stupid? Nigga... Uh, nigga, we got below zero weather out here and shit. It don't get hot till like late May. What do you think? Man, I was born and raised in cold weather. This ain't nothing. If there's one thing I've learned in life, is that when the weather gets cold, it's basketball time. That's my favorite time of the year. Next question. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Why do this sound like a question I've just answered before? Honestly, I don't really care. 
I'm more concerned with going to the right team than I am going as high as possible. I want to play for someone who's going to utilize me to the best of my abilities. Someone who's going to use me to put the team into a position to win games. You heard? That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. With the ninth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select the shooting guard from Wichita State University. Well, there you have it. I got drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves. You can pause the video and look at my stats. Um, I'm looking forward to playing for Minnesota. You got Kevin Love, Ricky Rubio, Kevin Martin. And just add me to the mix that would probably make us a playoff contender so yeah yeah that's gonna do it for right now a new chapter a new beginning i will be continuing my other my career series as far as well as some other series that i've been doing on here and i got some new content coming up for my spring break since i'm on spring break right now and i'll see you guys in the next video peace